Hi Vogue, I'm Susie Todd and this is my everyday beauty routine. That was a really bad American accent. <laughs> This video is kindly sponsored by Karma, an app and Chrome extension that ensures you never miss a price drop or a coupon code, but more on that later. Hello guys, today I am going to be pretending that I'm in a Vogue Beauty Secrets video. I don't know if you've seen the Vogue Beauty Secrets videos, but it's basically where Vogue gets a bunch of models to go in their bathroom and film themselves doing their beauty, skincare, makeup. So I saw Leia Houghton do this, and I don't know if she started the trend of pretending to be in a Vogue Beauty Secrets video, but she definitely has brought it back to YouTube. So thanks Leia for the inspiration if you're watching this. Probably not. Literally watching the Vogue Beauty Secrets is so frustrating because they put on mascara and they're like, that's my everyday makeup routine guys. I just look beautiful naturally. And I'm like, that's not gonna help this. I'm rambling and celebrities don't ramble. So let's get into my skincare guys. First of all, for cleanser, I have just been using the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser just with some cold water. I wash my face with that because if I turn the hot tap on in this room, it does this. So that's why I use the cold tap. Once a week, I like to do a vampire facial and then I get homeless people's placenta injected into my skin. For a little bit of exfoliation moment, I also have this Peppy Co silicone vibrating exfoliator. I feel like it's a lot more gentle than if you were to use like an abrasive exfoliator. I would use the Gua Sha like all of the celebrities use, but I literally don't own one. How untrendy of me. That's why my jawline is absolute filth right now. I'm just gonna wash that off. So like I mentioned before, this video is actually sponsored by Karma. You guys are probably like, Karma, what's that? Well, I'll tell you. Karma is an app and Chrome extension that ensures you never miss a price drop or coupon code. I actually bought a bunch of stuff from Sephora recently. Usually I'd end up paying full price for Sephora, but Karma let me know when they were having a 20% off sale and I also got 1% cash back and it saved me a heap of money. So here's how Karma works. It's super easy. On your computer, you just download the Chrome extension or download the app on your phone. You can view your favorite stores and see if they have any promo codes available. And once you find an item you want, you just click save. And then when that item goes on sale, Karma will send you a notification letting you know. So you never miss out. If the item was out of stock, it also notifies you when it comes back in stock. You can also organize your items into multiple wish lists so you can shop more mindfully. Karma also scans the web for coupon codes and applies them at checkout automatically. So you never have to go searching for coupon codes yourself. This feature only works on the computer, so make sure you have that Chrome extension. And you can also earn cash via PayPal when you shop from select retail partners, including Sephora. I love shopping, so Karma is an absolute must for me. If you guys don't already have Karma, you are missing out. So you can download Karma's Chrome extension completely free in the description box. Make sure you use my link so Karma knows that I sent you. Now that I'm nice and clean, sometimes I will literally just go in with moisturizer after that. I'm gonna do the most for this video which for most people is probably the least, but I'm just gonna go in with Frank Body Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid and rub that in all over my face. So I'm just doing my makeup today because I have a shoot this afternoon and then I'm probably gonna go like shopping, maybe Chanel, Louis Vuitton. And then I'm probably having dinner with my parents. If you didn't know, my dad's actually Simon Cowell. He's actually in the house right now. Dad! You just got a very, very slightly whiny voice and you sound like you got a really bad cold. You're so funny, Dad. Get out of my video. Oh my God. So embarrassing. And then I'm gonna go in with Brightening Eye Serum from Frank Body as well. I would do a mask, but honestly, when I'm doing my makeup, I usually only have like <laughs> 20 minutes to do it. So I do not have time to faff about and put a mask on. And then for lotion, I just put on the CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion for dry to very dry skin. It's super nice, super cheap. We love affordable skincare. I mean, <laughs> wait. 
I'm a celebrity. So this is my Mount Everest water moisturizer. They actually get poor people to climb to the top of Mount Everest and extract the water. Usually a few die on the way, but it just makes it even more rare. And I find it's really been helping my skin. So thanks poor people. I wait a second for that to... My maid's actually fanning my face right now. Thank you, hench. I call her a hench. It's like this funny little inside joke we have going on. Usually I just get my hench to follow me around with an umbrella, but when I do wear sunscreen, I'll just wear the Cetaphil UVA UVB Defense SPF 50 Plus. This is really nice. It makes you super glowy. Look at that. I'm pearlescent. I also put Lucas Pore Pore on my lips. It's really big in Australia. Like everyone uses it. You can put it on cuts and stuff. And my doctor told me to put it on my dermatitis, <laughs> which has been growing on the side of my face, so that's fun. Now that my skincare is all synced in, it's time to start my face. Sometimes I forget to do this, but when I do, it makes such a difference. I use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, but any pore filling primer, I just put it right around my nose and it just makes such a difference. This was actually one of my Sephora purchases. This is amazing. I understand all the hype. I wish I bought it earlier. It's the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Cream. My favorite brush to blend it in is actually just this Morphe one, but it's actually pretty like thin. I think it's more of a concealer brush. It seems to work really good with this. And then after it's all spread out, I'll just tap it in with a sponge just to take any streaks away. This is a really nice concealer. It's from Milk Makeup, which recently became a thing in Australia. I always have dark circles. I have genetic dark circles, but this has been really nice for covering it without drying my under eyes. Go off Milk Makeup, go off. And I'm also just going to try and spot conceal. I got this little mini Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek Tint in Perk. Although it will wipe your foundation off if you swipe it on. So I just like to put it on my fingers and dab on the high points of my cheekbones. And it's just super glowy. I'm so on the Milk Makeup game. Now it's time to powder. I just used the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder in Lavender. Right before I put my powder on, I make sure that I've dabbed out any creases and I always just pat in my powder. I don't like to swipe because I've got a very wet base and I'll wipe my makeup away. And then I'm just gonna use the Il Maquillage Fill and Fix Brow Shaper in Hypnotize. And I just brush that through, but still very natural. Clear brow gel, mm, love this stuff. And I just brush them up, 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 and then the ends brush down. If I'm in a rush with the eyeshadow, I always just use this little Marc Jacobs bronzer. I just lightly blend that in and just add a little bit of shadow. And now I do a little wing with brown eyeshadow. So much easier and quicker than doing an actual wing. And I think it just looks more soft and flattering. And I kind of start it like halfway. I don't go into the inner corner. This is a little trick that I've actually been doing recently. I'll take like a very pale skin tone color and I'll just go right under that wing we just did and sharpen it. And it's less harsh than using a concealer, but it still cleans it up. Okay, just gonna wipe away my bake. Sometimes I put shimmer in my eyes, sometimes I don't, but today I feel like doing it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of Ofra Rodeo Drive right on my eyelid here. And I take like the tinsiest bit and tap it. I usually don't do a lot of shimmer. And you know, as a model, I have beautifully long natural eyelashes, so I don't put on fake eyelashes. I just curl them. Honestly though, I've been really liking just not wearing lashes because I've been using lash serum lately. Just wait till I curl them. They're actually pretty long. You guys are probably like, they're not long. But for me, they're longer than usual. I loathe clumpy mascara, ill maquillage as well. And I just like wipe off as much as I can. And then I really, really carefully brush it through. I don't wiggle or anything. I just want it to look natural. And I kind of like slowly close my eye as I do so. I'm just gonna use that same bronzer from before. I don't really have a specific technique for bronzing. I honestly, I just follow. 
align my cheekbones. And then I'll go around the forehead. I used to bronze that bit, like I used to do the three. You don't want that bit bronze though, because that's supposed to be highlighted. And then I just go ham with my forehead. I feel like I've lost any remnants of being a fancy Vogue model. I need to get back with it. I'm just gonna chisel my jawline. Not that I need it because I've had a facelift. <laughs> I'm actually going to manifest that I'll be on Vogue one day. This is my practice video, guys. One of my favorite highlighters ever is this Nude by Nature highlight stick. And once again, like I did with the blush, I just put it on my fingers. And this is the prettiest, just like wet highlight. Like, look at that. It just looks so nice when I do it with my fingers. Oh. Oh. And if you have excess on your fingers, something that I've been loving to do is do a little bit of an inner corner point, but just with an eyebrow pencil. I forgot to show, but I also just put my little beauty mark in. I think it's really cute. So I always like to fill that in. Before I forget, I always just do a little tinsy bronze down the sides of my nose. I really just gently kind of swipe it down the very sides of my nose. Honestly, it looks different every time I do it. Probably don't listen to me. <laughs> it looks good like 2% of the time. And then with that bronzer, I just go right on the outer. This is my favorite lip liner, Mecca Max Pout Pencil in Classy. I love this color. And I'm just gonna outline my lips. I'm not gonna fill them in. It's like a brownie nude, it's so pretty. And then Fenty Gloss, of course, I just fill them in. Like so. I've just got a spray. It gives me an asthma attack every time I use it because it's super scented, but it makes me so glowy. Hench, come fan me. See how glowy that makes me? I'm not gonna do anything with my hair because I literally just plaited it last night, so I'm just gonna leave it. I mean, it could probably use a bit more volume, but it's good enough. Okay, Vogue, that was my beauty routine. I'm only here because Vogue paid me one mil to do this, but I'm also super grateful. I honestly had so much fun doing this for you guys. It kind of like brought me down to earth. I felt like a YouTuber. Like imagine, ugh. Golden hour is about to finish, so I need to run outside and take a photo, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun pretending to be in a Vogue Beauty Secrets. I really enjoyed pretending to be bougie for once in my life, and I feel like I really manifested that future Vogue video. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed, it helps me out a lot, and also if you haven't already, subscribe and join our family of all shapes and sizes. You are welcome here. Thank you so much again to Karma for sponsoring today's video. And remember, the link to download Karma is in the description box. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. That was terrible. Oh. Dad! Uh...